I didn't see you there. Come on in. Welcome to my crib. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a room tour and I'm not going to stand here and talk all day so let's just get into it. First up, I'm going to do a little overview of my room. If I can capture everything in the frame. And there's me. I'm just wearing my Sunday clothes. <laughs> and yeah, and then back to the door and my tripod. So that is my room. Yep, we're just doing it the other way around. Like that. One of the things I really, really love about my room is all of my plants. And one of the first things you see is this big palm. It used to be big, at least. It has lost a couple of its leaves, but there are new ones coming down here, which is making me very excited. Next to my plant, I have my vanity set from Ikea that I also had at my mom's house. And it just fits perfectly right here next to my door. And I just put it up exactly the way I had it before with my makeup on the right and my brushes on the left with my tiny close-up mirror. I also still have the same clear chair as I did last time and here we are again. It can't be avoided with the, these mirrors and I'm just gonna do a little close-up of what my vanity looks like. My brushes are in desperate need of a cleaning and over here I just have my q-tips and my cotton rounds and some nail polish I'm trying out right now and my most used makeup. My makeup collection has gone down a little bit. I've been good at using my old makeup rather than buying new makeup and down here it just looks like this. I have gotten rid of a lot of my palettes and right now I'm just using this as makeup storage but also a lot of other stuff. Because I do live in a small apartment you got to get the most out of the space you have. And then I just have my trash can right here and over in the corner I have my laundry basket or it's not a basket it is actually a bag because it's easier to carry when you're doing laundry. Over here we have my clothes rack which is just made from industrial pipes which I think is so cool and it gets it kind of like a raw look in here and I really really like it and I just have my clothes that are hanging I did just take some of it down so it looks kind of bare but this is what it looks like and on the end I just have my everyday purse and a cute little snake print purse and at the bottom I just have some of my shoes and sandals which is mainly my workout shoes and shoes that I don't use as often the rest of them are in the hallway and here you can see what it looks like up close I mainly keep my long dresses here and some tops that I don't feel like folding and that is my everyday bag and the cute little snake print bag I was talking about. Next to my clothing rack I have my bed and above my bed we have two pictures in pink. I'm kind of going with a little bit of a pink theme and I just have the middle finger with the woman sign on it and the future is female on the other one and just two pink pillows from Ikea in the back and my bedding I don't remember where I got it from but I also have it in black and underneath my bed I just store a suitcase and some supplies I couldn't fit anywhere else and this is just my bed from another angle and I'm pretty sure it's a queen size it's not the biggest but it works for me I am kind of gonna have to lie down to show you what is on my bedside table. My bedside table is actually just a stool we used to have in my mom's bathroom but because I couldn't find a table that fit the small space I just took it. And this is her lamp as well, don't tell her. But I am currently reading three different books and I have them here. I knew that was gonna happen. I am currently reading The Gatecrasher which is a New York Times bestseller by Madeline Wickham. Wickham and I am 70 pages into it right now and I really like it. It is about a woman who preys on vulnerable men. Men that are recently widowed. Is it widowed when it's a man as well? But yeah, and it's only rich men so she can live a luxurious life. And that is what I found out until now. I don't know if it changes but I will let you know if you're interested. But this is a good book. And then I am reading a book about phone addiction. 
because I have a little problem with my cell phone being in my hand all the time. So I'm trying to get some good habits and I read it three times. And I only make it till the part where you have to try to change. It's kind of like a 30 day challenge and I haven't completed it yet and it's gonna be on my bedside table until I do. But it has a lot of good information in it. Kind of eye opener, so definitely a good read too and my third book that i'm currently reading is calendar girl and this is the second one i'm not that far into it all of a sudden this turned into a book review this book is about a girl who's trying to save her dad who was beaten up from having debt related to gambling. So she's trying to save him. So she becomes a high-end escort girl and she spent each month with a different guy and I read the first one which was January, February, March and now we're on to April and I really like the first one and this one is good as well at least so far I think I'm going to be able to finish this when I go on vacation I'm definitely bringing it then I just have some lotions my Elizabeth Arden lip balm or it's actually the 8 hour cream I use it as a lip balm and a nail oil and then a picture I'm gonna show you when I turn this around. <laughs> so this is what the bedside table or the stool <laughs> looks like. And I just have this pretty, pretty yellow picture and my lotions, my Elizabeth Arden and my books. It doesn't fit a lot, but it works for me. And I also charge all of my stuff down here. The lighting on this part is gonna be a little tricky because of the sun. I have my window facing apartments and our garden <laughs> there's just a lot of big trees down here and you can go down there whenever you want oh and by the way i live on the fourth floor so over here i have my maple tray with my aloe vera plant it might need to find a new home because it's not really like in the sun my apartment is facing west which means i get all the evening sun and this pot turns really really hot when the sun is on it all the time and i don't think it's liking that very much that or I overwatered it. Then I have the milk and honey book down here and it's just for decorations right now and then on top of that I have my candles from Royal Copenhagen or like my candle holders. I don't ever light these. This is only for decoration. And moving on I have my two other plants in these super super cute pots with polka dots on i don't remember what this plant is called but it makes so many babies moving on i have three books that i also really wanted to read i only started the zoe sug one which i get a lot of inspiration from and then i have the calendar girl two or no sorry three and four so i have a lot of reading to get done and then i just have some pencils and paper to write on over here i have my ikea dresser because as you notice i don't have any closet in here so this is where i store most of my clothes and other stuff in the corner i also have a yoga mat that i never use and of course my tv and we just have some random hair clip my beloved decennial pictures i was debating whether i should hang them or not but i decided they should just stay on the dresser even though we have very high ceilings in this apartment as you can tell i was gonna put a shelf with some plants on here but since i am moving i'm not gonna do that and then i just have my vogue and chanel books and my little birdies here i have a scented candle from h&m home Love it. I showed it in my H&M home candle haul. And here we have a bouquet of dried flowers, which I also love. I again put in some pink to kind of tie together with the pictures behind me and the pillows and also the pink in this picture. But also again, like the green and the green and kind of some earthy colors to just not make it too colorful and i just think it looks really cute and i like that they're kind of like tall flowers and not just short ones all of them and it is in my royal copenhagen vase and back here i'm hiding another vase which i will put fresh flowers in but because i'm not 
home that much during the summer i'm not having any fresh flowers and i just have a diffuser that's not what it's called is it for it smells good that's what it is i'm a very nosy person and i feel like i'm not the only one so i'm gonna show you what i have in my drawers or some of them at least down here in the bottom one it's kind of empty because this is my sweater drawer and i took some of them home to my mom until i need them again so that's just in there and this one holds skirts these are in layers by the way and pants and jeans <laughs> And I also just emptied a lot of these out, which was really nice because I could hardly close it before. This one holds underwear and socks, so I'm not going to show you that. And then this bottom one holds workout clothes and sleeping shirts. And I cleaned it up for you guys because normally it does not look that neat. Up here, this one is pretty empty at the moment because I usually have my bandage shorts and shorts I use under dresses here. But in this one, I have nylons. I have a lot of black nylons because I keep buying them because they break all the time. And then I have a variation of black shirts and other long sleeve shirts and I just folded them for this video because it normally does not look that neat either and up here I have a more practical one here I have my t-shirts and a body stocking that can't hang I have some candy some candles scrunchies a belt a hair clip I can put this one in here and this one is just full of nail polish and technology parts so yeah that was my IKEA dresser and then there's me oh my gosh i forgot to turn the lights on hold on much better here i have my full length mirror and i just have it standing i didn't want to hang it i did that at my mom's house but i really like that it's standing on the floor and the plants on the floor get to like reflect into the mirror and i just have some little flower lights around it so when it's dark here it's just so nice and cozy i feel like it's really awkward with my legs <laughs> in the background oh well so down here i have three plants i have a fig plant i think it's a fig that's what i bought it as it might not be that a plant i stole at my mom's house and it's just living its best life in here i don't know if you can tell but it's just really growing at the moment and then i have this one which i don't remember the name of unfortunately as you can tell this leaf is not doing great i was vacuuming one day and i was trying to get in the corner and i just lifted the head up and accidentally this leaf caught onto the vacuum and this happened so that's very sad and then we are actually back at the door where i just have a few tote bags that I use for grocery shopping. That was it for my room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up and a comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!